Hey there, welcome to a fall favorites video. If there's any season that I wanna do this in, it's the fall. I unapologetically just love this season so much. Blame it on me being a fall baby. Scorpio season's coming soon, it's almost my birthday. And I'm just gonna jump right into my fall favorites. Usually I just like the same things over and over every season, but recently I've been trying new things and there's some old time favorites, some new ones. I'm just gonna show you all of them. The first thing's kind of fun and really relevant. I've been really loving these handmade mask and scrunchie combos. I'll link the Depop seller who sold this to me below. These are so fun to accessorize with and they're really good quality. The ones that I bought on Depop are so much so that I ordered several others. Um, this is a different Depop buyer. I'll link her down below as well. I got this blue gingham one, this dark gray black marble one, and then this floral green one. And I wash them really often just to keep them clean, but they've just been a really fun favorite for me for the fall right now. Crazy that this is the point in time that we're at where I'm actually including that in a fall favorites video, but I'm just gonna move past it and not go into a thinking loop. Next thing, if there's any jewelry related thing, I would recommend it is this curb chain from Ana Luisa. I have the gold one and it is in collaboration with Yusuf on YouTube. I always get complimented on this. I wear it almost every single day. I would be wearing it right now, but I'm wearing silver jewelry. Usually it doesn't really matter, but today it does. Next thing I always fall back into when the weather gets a bit colder is scents for some reason. So in a ton of different categories, Categories. The first thing I've been using a lot recently is this roll-on lavender essential oil And I don't know if it's psychological. I think there is something to it I do get a little bit more calm when I use this. It feels nice. It just smells nice too. I usually just put it on my wrists Then I have my all-time favorite perfume. It is the Angel Muse. It smells amazing. I switch it up between the Muse and the original standard angel scent, but my go-to ever since, ever since ever. <laughs> I don't think I can change this go-to scent. Also in the scents category, I have this candle. This is the Blackberry Absinthe Candle by Illume. This is my all-time favorite candle ever. I have rebought it so many times. This one's completely done. If there was ever a candle I would recommend to anyone, it's this. I understand that it's super subjective, like you might not like this smell. This just has this really deep, kind of dark, lasting scent. So I, I don't know how to describe smells, I'm sorry. Skincare. I like that. These are two products that I have rebought. Um, I'm open to trying new things, but for the moment they're working really well for my skin. I have really dry skin and then oily in the T-zone, so I've been using the Ultra Facial Cleanser by Kiehl's. I really like this one. It's unscented, right? It is unscented. I'm a really big fan of this cleanser and then I use the Kiehl's Skin Rescuer for my moisturizer and I just, I've been loving this, I've been using it since last winter and it has really helped the redness in my skin, that's my main problem area. So I really do like these products, I'm open to trying new ones but for the fall so far. Then my cousin Tara got me on this, it is the Glossier Balm.com. Originally I didn't understand the hype of this lip balm but as you can see it's almost completely done and I need to get another one. This is the best lip balm ever. Then as you can see in my hands already, I've been loving Rare Beauty. It's completely cut down the amount of makeup products I use for some reason. I just feel like they're such good quality that I end up layering less on top of my face than I normally would. I have the foundation, concealer, highlight, and blush. So these amazing, the blush that I really recommend and love is the color Joy. And as the weather is transitioning from warmer to more cold and dry, it's been working just as well, so we'll see how well that works into the winter, but so far so good. Next really quick lip liner that I love is this NYX one in the color... I don't even know, Sandstorm. It's really almost finished. I often pair it with this lip gloss, and here's the thing. I have no idea what brand this is. <laughs> I got it as a tester once. It is in the color 420 Reckless. No, I can't even tell, it doesn't say. So I'm gonna do my research and link it down below if I figure out what brand this is. It has sparkle to it, but not too much, and you can wear like a matte lip liner under it and it still makes your lips look plump, but glossy. Next thing, if you watched my most recent Depop haul, you saw, but I love my purse, my coach bag. It is just the perfect little fall bag and I've been, it's very self-explanatory. I've been wearing it like crazy, so this is definitely making the cut. Anyways, books. I have a couple recommendations depending on if you want like a more heavy read or a really light read. Oh, <laughs> I almost dropped them. I have two really easy reads. The first one is Show Your Work by Austin Cleon. Cleon. This is just an incredibly simple read with a lot of graphics and just fun little anecdotes. But if you are creative and you struggle with being a perfectionist and sometimes you feel like the best time to show my work is later, you need to read this. It's very inspiring. Another easy read that I've read <laughs> maybe five times entirely is Will Derbyshire's This Modern Love. I bought this, I pre-ordered it way before it even came out, but I just always fall back to this every like fall and winter season. This book is essentially from 15,000 submissions written by people to kind of like 
put together the idea of modern love today and I just, I always love this book. Then, more intense novels. My recommendations are Swimming Lessons, if you have not read this book, please read it. It's by Claire Fuller, mixed between like a romantic heartbreak slash adventure slash just this upsetting deep story, but also I don't know, it's just, it's a really good read. <sighs> Another one is by Andre Asiman. Asim I hate pronouncing last names. <laughs> it is Find Me. It's basically the sequel to Call Me By Your Name. Ooh, I recommend this book. It's a really good book. It kind of diverges from Call Me By Your Name a little bit, but then ties back to it like within the book. I'm not gonna give any spoilers, don't worry, but very good read, very satisfying read. And I am currently reading Dune because the movie's coming out. So my boyfriend Nick and I are both reading Dune at the same time. I feel like he's more advanced than I am in the book, uh, which is making me feel a little bit competitive. But <laughs> this one's a really big read. I can't really tell you my full opinion because I'm not done with it yet, but it is a fall favorite because it's the fall and I'm enjoying reading it. So moving on to some clothing options. One thing that I love for the fall is big jackets. I am a huge jacket person. I'm trying to get more into bags and shoes, but I'm jackets all the way. I have three favorites that aren't new. I've had them for a while, but there's one thing my mom taught me. It's to just keep getting things that you can keep for a really long time. One of my all-time faves is this classic leather jacket. I don't think I can ever get sick of her. She just has served me well so many times. Um, maybe I've served her well in looks, so I just <laughs> love this one. And then possibly one of my favorite jackets of all time, I don't think there's a competitor, is my Coach Varsity jacket. This one was a gift a while ago, and oh, I just love it so much. I am so grateful for this jacket. Another simple classic that I love, is this a peacoat? Petticoat? I'm not... Peacoat? I just love this one. I actually stray away from navy blues in terms of like big statement pieces, so I really love this jacket. I get a lot of wear out of it actually because the majority of my jackets are black, so I like having this one. It's not really a pop of color, but but I can bring you a pop of color. One of my other favorites is this turtleneck sweater. It is just the perfect amount of oversized. The turtleneck itself is not tight at all. And I just, I love the color combination. And I always, I get a lot of wear out of this. Lizzie McGuire, I am an outfit repeater when it comes to this sweater. Then to finish this off, let's go with pants. Recently, I've been in love with oversized jeans or just baggier fit jeans. These ones I thrifted a while ago from the men's section actually. Um, and I just, I just, I just have been loving baggier jeans. Even in my Depop haul, I mentioned like mom jeans that I love. I think that these are really fun for the fall and they can look really nice with a tighter top or a loose baggy top. And then last for my fall favorites are statement pants. I've been loving dress pants recently. My all time favorite pair of statement dress pants are these ones from Tristan. I love these pants. I have worn them a million times and I'll wear them a million times more. And then these, which is like a little, it's a little controversial because they're white, but hey. But I love the color scheme and they are nice and pleated in the front and I think they just suit fall weather really well. I think that statement pants just make an outfit so cool from the get-go, from the get-go. And those are my favorite things. Those are a few of my favorite things. So thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what some of your favorites are or if you share any of my favorites. And hopefully, oh wait, 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 subscribe. Hopefully I'll see you in another one of my videos. <laughs> Bye.